if you are having trouble taking down your first wholesale deal, I am here for you. I am going to show you how to take down a wholesale deal with me, okay? And here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk you through an actual deal, and we are going to do this legally, okay? That's a big thing. A lot of the other people out there teaching you all about wholesaling, they're not even teaching you about wholesaling, folks. They're teaching you how to illegally broker real estate. That's going to get you in trouble. So we're going to do this legally, which also by doing it the legal way, it's also going to make your offers more profitable, more likely to get accepted. Let's jump into that now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. Who am I? Do I know what I'm doing? I'm James Wise. I'm the CEO of Holton Wise. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate, right? I know a thing or two about all facets of real estate, wholesaling, rentals, the whole shebang, Airbnb. We do it all, right? So if you want to learn how to invest in real estate, how to make money, subscribe to Holton Wise TV. Wholesaling is what we're doing today, right? I'm working with an out-of-state investor. His name's Brian. I'm going to help him wholesale a deal, right? And I talked about uh, the fake gurus, the fake wholesaling strategies a little bit. I touched on it a second ago, right? And that's the big thing. That's why wholesaling to me is important because you get two, two schools of people, people that tell you you can't get started in wholesaling, right? Uh, you can get started in wholesaling. That is the way you can begin your real estate career. But what's even more dangerous than people who are telling you you can't are the people who tell you you can do it with no money. It's not true. You can't do it with no money. That requires you to put fake offers out there on properties uh, and then like pitch them to your buyer list. All you're doing is illegally brokering real estate. Your offer is probably not going to get accepted. You're going to waste a lot of time, number one. Number two, it's fucking illegal, motherfuckers. Shit, that's a problem. If you're going to run an illegal business, just sell heroin, dude. It is way easier to find buyers of heroin than it is to wholesale houses. Bro, it's drugs. It sells itself, right? You give them some heroin, and then they're literally hooked. You don't have to work that hard. So if we're going illegal, illegal uh, enterprises here, please save yourself the effort and just fucking sell heroin. It's heroin. It sells itself. It's awesome. Go for it. That's what you want to do if you're trying to run an illegal business. But if you're not trying to run an illegal business, you're trying to run an ethical, moral, and legal real estate wholesaling business, you're going to want to partner with me and stick with me because here's the thing. You need a little bit of money, okay, because you're actually going to close on the deal and then we're going to resell it, right? Buy low, sell high. That's what wholesaling really is, okay? But here's the thing. In a lot of markets... You really can't get started in wholesaling because you need a lot of money, right? Imagine living in L.A. Can you get started in wholesaling with ten grand in L.A.? No. No, you can't, right? Can you get started in New York with ten k? No. So you can't get started with no money, but you need a little money, right? Little money. If, if you can't scrounge together five or ten k to, to start your business, I highly suggest you put a pause on the real estate, maybe drive Uber for the next like six months, save that up, and then come back to me like my man Brian is doing. Because Brian, I'm going to walk you through a deal in a much cheaper market. And don't worry, if you don't know the market, that's fine because I know the market. We're going to be able to wholesale an apartment building for under 10 k So yes, folks, you can get started in wholesaling. It's going to require some money, though. So you got to find a cheap market. You got to find cheap housing, cheap distressed housing in that market. I've put together all the pieces to the puzzle for you. All you need to do, partner with me, walk with me, work with me on the deal. We're going to jump into those numbers right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We are going to wholesale a quad today, and we're going to stay legal. We are going to stay legal. Staying legal is the biggest thing. 
when it comes to wholesaling real estate. It just drives me nuts uh, seeing all the guru crap, the guru smoke, the guru fluff being fucking blown out of everybody's assholes teaching everybody out there like you that you can get started in real estate with no money because all you got to do is find a property like this, a distressed asset. Look at this motherfucker. Obviously, we got a distressed asset, folks, right? You, you can't tell me that this is not what distress looks like. We've done that, right? We've identified a distressed asset. Check. But what they tell you, what these gurus are teaching you, that what these gurus are calling wholesaling, it's not wholesaling. It's brokering real estate. They're saying, hey, you just write up a purchase agreement. Tell Mr. Seller you're going to buy it, but then you can't really buy it. Then you're going to find a buyer who can actually buy it, and you're going to tack on like a $5,000 assignment fee, and then you close it. You never needed any money. What did you do in that scenario, folks? What you did is you brokered real estate, right? I don't get why uh, so many people are confused by that, folks. Brokering real estate is when you take a buyer and a seller and you connect them and you collect a fee for that, right? I know that because I broker real estate. I'm a real estate broker, folks. I've sold $200 million worth of properties just like this one, okay? And we're going to do this deal for like ten grand. So do you know how many $10,000 buildings you got to sell to get $200 million in sales? I know what I'm doing. And in every state, all 50 states of the United States, a license is required to broker real estate, right? So do not fall for that guru crap, okay? It don't keep you legal. And then number two, you're probably not going to get your offers accepted because you have to do a 30-day close uh, to give you time to find your end buyer. In addition, you got to put contingencies on there so you don't lose your earnest money in case nobody actually buys it from you. You're probably slapping that some bitch on Craigslist like that's ever going to fucking work. It won't. All that is garbage. And that, hopefully, is why you are still here with me. Because you could partner with me, and we're going to do this motherfucker the right way. We're going to make money legally, ethically, and we could actually get deals done, right? This deal, it's fucked, but that's okay. You don't have to find buyers for that. Let me do that, okay? I run Holton Wise TV, folks. I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I got like 60,000 subscribers to this show. Nobody's got a bigger uh, footprint in this market than I do. I got the buyers to buy it, right? But guess what? They're not going to buy it for 30 grand because nobody's going to buy it for 30 grand. That's way overpriced, and that's why it's been on the market for 109 days. By the way, the address is 14620 Lakeshore Boulevard, Cleveland, 44110. This is the ghetto, right? T to be frank, it's the ghetto, uh, but that's okay. I'm familiar with the neighborhood. I know the true ARV here. I know what I can do, right? I am in with local Cleveland investors who would be interested in doing projects like this, but they wouldn't pay 30. They would probably pay 20 with my marketing. I would set it up and get this out to them, get all the answers answered for them about what they need to do, provide them a video tour, all that stuff, all stuff you don't have to do. So I would sell it for 20, right? So that is our end price, folks, 20 grand. Now, what does that mean for you? For you to make a reasonable profit, for you to make some money, if I'm going to sell it to them for 20 grand, you can't pay 20 grand. Obviously, what you can pay is $8,000, right? So you would buy this for $8,000. You got $1,000 in closing costs, so you'll be all in for nine. Let your boy Jay Wise flip it. I will sell it for 20. I'll collect my fee. And at the end of the day, I make 5K. You're making 5K, right? Now, here's the thing if I could sell it for 20 to like Burr investors and local contractors and stuff like that, how can you? Buy it for eight, right? Well, here's the thing. It goes back into the legalities of wholesaling that I already spoke of, right? I said, outside of keeping you legal, we're going to do it where you have a better chance of closing, right? Because the brokering real estate model, which, again, is illegal, but let's just, just like push that to the side. Let's not even talk about that. The brokering real estate model requires you to submit offers to sellers that are fucking weak, right? Real estate agents, we're not stupid. Okay, well, like 90% of real estate agents are stupid. So that a lot of people are going to be able to see through that crap, though. You don't even have to be a good real estate agent to see through a wholesaler's offer, an offer that's probably not going to actually go anywhere, right? When we see things like a cash deal with a 30-day close, red flag that this motherfucker can't actually close the deal. When we see things like a super low earnest money, like $200, $100, we know that guy's not actually closing the deal. 
when we see things like contingent on inspection. Contingent on inspection? Look at the son of a bitch. It's destroyed. Come on. Inspect what? You can see it. Go there. There's no lockbox. The thing's open. Avoid the crackheads. Seriously, they will kill you. But inspection? Come on. Or when we see things contingent on partner approval, we know they're garbage offers, right? So... Wholesaling the real way, the right way, requires you to close the property. That's why we're going to make super lowball offers, but I'm going to get them to stick. Now, everyone won't stick, but that's part of wholesaling, folks. You have to send out a lot of offers. So you got to know your ARV. You got to know your ARV, and that's both your ARV when you sell it at the wholesale price and then what the end buyer is going to like, get after they rehab it. James Wise does all that. 200 million in sales. You don't have to worry about that because these are all things you'd have to learn, right? You have to find distressed sellers. You have to find the right wholesale price to make the offer, get the offer to stick, understand how to actually put together a rehab bid, know what your uh, burr type buyer, investor buyer is willing to pay, what they can get. You got to know how much money they'll make before you can make your money, right? I do all of that, okay? That's why I'm going to take a 5K profit. You're going to take a 5K profit, right? But here's the thing. 8K is what you need to make it all happen. If you can't buy this at 8K, it's too thin. You don't want to do the deal, right? But I believe if we do it my way, we have a much better chance of getting the offer accepted. Why? Because we're coming in with an offer that's better than all those other fake wholesalers' offers, right? Their offers are 30-day close. Ours will be 10. Their offers require partner approval. Ours are, here's the motherfucking offer. You can get the money, no strings attached, in like 10 days. Oh, and guess what? Their $100 earnest money deposit, which they're going to try to get back, boom. Here's a $2,500 earnest money deposit, no questions asked. Literally in 10 days, you get this deal, right? The sellers are going to be attracted to that. And what this seller has done is they've overpriced it. They've shot the price too high, and now they've had 109 days on the market to think Oh, man, maybe nobody will buy my building. My building is so distressed. It's so terrible. Maybe nobody really wants it. Maybe there really isn't a value here, and they're getting scared. So we are providing them the key to Easy Street, right? All these other offers, they're backing, backing out. Deals are falling apart. They have all these contingencies. We come in. We look like a shining star, right? We're like, yo, eight grand within 10 days. The money's in your pocket. You never have to think about this. You don't have to wait for an inspection. We're not going to get partner approval. No contingencies, no questions asked. And if we flake, boop, our earnest money, we don't get it back. Things like that, right? That's how you get lowball offers accepted, right? So the whole thing is going to work by you getting a lowball offer accepted. And that is why wholesaling this way is not only going to keep you legal, it's going to allow you to get better deals. Because if you got two $8,000 offers, one is a $2,500 non-refundable earnest money deposit closes in 10 days. The other is contingent on partner approval a fake fucking partner really god all these like weasel claws other wholesalers are teaching you guys they're so garbage dude they are trash right uh partner approval inspection inspection what are you dude i'll inspect the property for you right now watch here's my home inspection uh okay wait let me get a better look at it all right hold on i gotta get a good look so i could really inspect this all right yeah this is fucked this building's fucked you know what's broken everything inspection complete why does the other offer need to have an inspection contingency like what more do you need to know if it can be broken it is folks duh that's why clean offers get deals done and you need low ball offers to be accepted so 8k let's go over the numbers one more time 8k plus closing costs all in at 9k your boy jy sells it to burr investors uh using his Fast network, right? 60,000 subs, folks. Come on. $20,000 selling price. At the end of the day, I make $4,995. You're going to make $5,005. You want to get started in wholesaling, this is the way to do it. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.